mob rule? I've talked to 43 lawyers around the country, 17 judges, and I haven't found one that was shocked by the verdict. Most saw the same thing that I did from day one. This never should have gone to trial. It's a travesty. It's a violation of due process in American law. It is part of this mess that mainstream media is trying to feed into the heads of the citizenry and poison them by saying that their emotions and their feelings are supposed to have paramountcy over what happens within the law. That's not the way it goes. I get people who never even took what they should have gotten in the fourth and fifth grade get to talking about how somebody going to disprove what these women accused Dr. Cosby of. And the truth of the matter is you don't have to. They have to prove that what they claim is true, not the other way around. That's American law. I see too much of this show up on the courthouse, voice your opinion, and get the courts to yield to what you believe. That's not the way the law works. That's called mob rule, mob justice. And if you want a more egregious exemplar, take what happened to Emmett Till and every other black man that's been lynched in the history of this country because somebody got emotional and decided to suborn the law, go around it, and do what their emotions drove them to do. Well, I'm late to the party. I know people have done multiple shows on William H. Cosby. So after a couple of days of reflecting, which didn't really, really need much reflection, you know, because uh, Dennis Sperling, Uncle D, I'll put his link in the description, has done a pretty good job of describing the case between Pennsylvania and Bill Cosby and why, rightfully so, the, his conviction got tossed. I, and obviously the debate between Mark Lamont Hill and Judge Joe Brown, which you've heard, you know, parts of which you heard, I put it in front, uh, where Judge Joe Brown says everybody he talked to said they knew that case was going to be overturned as soon as it got in front of the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. It was obvious. It was a violation of his Fifth Amendment. And prosecutors cannot sign a document of immunity and go back on it. That was obvious. And even during the trial, even though they went back on their promise of immunity and tried him anyway, there's all, all kinds of concessions that the judge of the case let in. All kinds of shenanigans and illegal stuff that judges allowed in. And, you know, I'm surprised the judge still has a job because you thought the years of a kangaroo court were over. Just because politically you don't like a particular person. And I'm not saying that what Bill Cosby did or didn't do was morally correct. Okay, But that's Hollywood, especially in the 70s and 80s. That's Hollywood. I, I hear stories of that happening on a regular basis and, and women know that's the get down. I never participated in it because I'm not a drug dude, but I hear of even chicks in the neighborhood that wanted to get down like that. They wanted to have trains run on them and it basically took quaaludes and stuff like that to bennies and quaaludes to actually participate in that kind of behavior. So this is not unusual. This is just typical Hollywood, this typical Hollywood parties. And he's not the only one. He's just the only one that people went after because he has the biggest name. And they couldn't convict him on the on the one woman's testimony. So what they try to do is get as many testimonies as they can, going as far back as they can, even though the statutes of limitations have, have far exceeded this stuff going to trial. And for the judge to allow it in over the protest and the rightful protest of Bill Cosby's attorney means it was a witch hunt. It was a political witch hunt. And they were trying to make Bill Cosby the face of Me Too. Harvey Weinstein has not done one day. Harvey Weinstein has not even been into court. And what Harvey Weinstein did was way more egregious than anything Bill Cosby has ever done. But this country always tries to make the face of anything bad a black man, especially a prominent one. And I don't know what white people and white guys are doing, man, because Cosby sets the tone of what's going to happen to you. So the biggest cheerleaders of Bill Cosby getting out on appeal should be white men. But it's easy to castigate a black man, especially a black man having sex with with groups of white women. Well, actually women of all colors. Kind of rubs 
you know, white men the wrong way. So they actually start voting against their own interests. And then you have, well, probably, you have minions or maggles like Mark Lamont Hill, who have been brainwashed by intersexual feminism, who actually get upset. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if Mark Lamont Hill engaged in the same kind of behavior that Bill Cosby did because he is in that arena. He's in that business. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of stuff that Bill Cosby's done, Mark Lamont Hill hasn't done also. Every man that's in this kind of business that's taking sexual favors from women because of your position is on the hook. I don't know why, but Mark Lamont Hill is even protesting this. It should be happy that Bill Cosby got out. Okay, and that's the bottom line. You know, that's what uh, uh, Uncle D says, Uncle Dennis Sperling said. You can't violate the man's Fifth Amendment rights. If he, he didn't waive them, you made a deal for him to waive them because you wanted to get the deal done between him and her. And you had to get him on a record because he could have just shut up and you would have had nothing. And there is such a thing called a constitution that we go by. The same constitution that protects women and their rights. But women don't care. Women women are emotional. They don't care. They'll, they'll do a witch hunt and they'll cut off their nose to spite their face. They'll do something, violate somebody's constitutional and civil rights, and then cry about theirs. Which is why when you have a matriarchal led country like you have now you know the united states is a matriarchy this is this of all things should let you know that the united states is no longer patriarchy because if this was a patriarchy all these people would shut up about bill cosby it wouldn't be about women's feelings or how they feel violated or anything like that it might be slightly a scandal but thing is it wouldn't even be a scandal because those women volunteered for that alcohol and volunteered for the pill. He didn't shove it down their throats, just like Judge Joe Brown says. He didn't shove it down their throats. He offered it to them. It's not, it's not like they he put something in their drink. You know, the guys that put rape drugs in, in women's drinks when they go to the bathroom, okay, them dudes need to be prosecuted. I have no problem with the dudes that were actually putting stuff in women's drinks and then taking them home. I have no problem with them being prosecuted. But when there's quaaludes on the table and you ask for it and he brings you the pill and the drink and you take it, either women are grown people or they're children. My eight-year-old grandson knows better than taking a pill and alcohol, right? He will tell you no. He has enough will and he has enough fortitude not to take something, even if it was from his grandpa. He would look at me funny if I give him a pill. He'd ask me what that's for. And he's eight. So you're asking women in their 20s and 30s not to know better, go to a strange person's house that's not a relative and take a take alcohol and a pill and then claim that you didn't know what you were doing. This has gone way too far. And black women, you know, well, women, period, want equality. They want to be treated like equals, but they want to act like children. Like I was telling this feminist, LJ, Lynn, women want equality. They want equal outcomes. They want equal protection. They want equal opportunity, but they don't want equal burden of performance. In other words, they don't want the burden of being an adult, being responsible and accepting responsibility for their actions. If a guy goes to a woman's house and they sit down and, and she has alcohol and she gives him a pill and he wakes up and after having sex, he's got nothing to say. If he didn't want to have sex with her, or her getting pregnant by him, he's a damn fool. Just They do that to men all the time. If a man has sex with a woman without protection, and, and nine months later, 10 months later, he gets on the hook for child support, he's a damn fool. A man does not have the right to say he didn't know. If a man has sex with a woman, he throws the condom in the, in the, in the uh, trash can, and she digs it out and inseminates herself, and 10 months later, he gets on the hook for child support, he's a damn fool. Even though maliciously she went into the trash can and dug a condom out. It doesn't matter whether the burden the burden of proof was on him and he proves it. At the end of the day, got to take care of the kids. There's just a court case in, I do believe is Virginia, where the guy donated his sperm to a friend. And that friend turned around and sued him for child support. Even though 
in North Carolina where he actually donated the sperm. He was protected. In Virginia, they tried to get him for child support, but it doesn't matter, okay? He got hit by the burden of performance in Virginia. It took the Supreme Court to actually say that Virginia couldn't go after him for child support because North Carolina's state rule is precedent because that's where the, the act took place. And women cry about equality. Same thing with Bill Cosby, okay? The Constitution is the Constitution. We're supposed to be a nation of laws, not a nation of feelings. The rule of law is supposed to be the, the law of the land in the United States since 1776, when we overthrew monarchical rule, that the, the, the United States is supposed to be a nation of laws, okay? The Constitution has been around for almost 300 years cannot overturn it. The Bill of Rights, the 10 Bill of Rights, and the right to remain silent against prosecution is sanctified against FBI, police, CI, what have you. You have a right to remain silent. And any court in the land is actually gonna uphold that. It was a violation for the Philadelphia uh, prosecutor to even do that, to violate his Fifth Amendment right. They were telling him that at the time the trial was going on and they still did it. The man did, almost three years in jail because they violated his rights. But we're going to equivocate. Well, we're going to have two discussions. No, there's only one discussion. There's only one. There's only one right. There is no two discussions. There's only one right. And the other one is wrong. This is this is not a gray area. This is black and white. Either you violated the man's rights or you didn't. I don't care how many victims you say that he did. Either you proved your point or you didn't. It's not like you dug up a whole bunch of bodies behind Bill Cosby's yard. Okay, you have her, her word versus his word. You have what she said versus what he what she said. Okay, in a court of law, but guess what? The burden of proof is on them. They can't prove it, especially 20 years later. Can't even prove that you had sex with the guy five, six years later. It's your word against his. And in in a court of law, that ain't even supposed to be a, a thing without without outside proof, one witness versus another. And it has been proven that women will lie in these cases time and time and time again. But men's gonna have to find some balls and stand up to these chicks. Eventually, I'll cheer when that day comes. But this is a matriarchy, folks. This is what a matriarchy is like, where women's feelings take precedent over logic and law. And Bill Cosby is one in the books of a win instead of an L. And I, for one, cheer it because Bill Cosby is an icon, okay? I don't for the black community. And the black community actually let him down. And you wonder why more people don't do something for the black community. And this is why, especially when it comes to the case of black women, black women will turn on you on a dime. Doesn't matter what you do. So Robert F. Smith, beware. Don't get caught up with these women and think that because you did, did good for the black community that they're going to protect you because they'll uh, hang your balls on a hook too. The gynocracy does not care. If their feelings are involved, you will go too. So it doesn't matter whether you uh, $5 or $5 billion, you're a country surf to them. Anyway, with that, I'm going to jump off here. This is BGS out and I'll see you guys on the next one.